having dreams whatever whatever the reason for having dreams whether if these can be avoided by and how uh? how can these be avoided dreams uh, so uh, how uh, the dreams uh, the reason for dreams is that when you are sleeping your attention moves either to the conscious supra conscious side or to the subconscious side your attention starts moving and then you start seeing things which uh, which are connected with your subconscious or your uh, collective subconscious and all this thing and you may uh, go on to supra conscious side where you will see your future and all this thing but the reason why you get dream actually is that the unconscious which is within you or you can say the kundalini or your atma is trying to guide you to the right path and how does it guide you to the right path is through dreams but these are misunderstood that is what it said i read it said no okay was how do you guide these dreams I uh, uh, understand these dreams because you are so confused first you go deep into yourself and you t- touch the unconscious so shook this thing but from there you come out and then when you are coming out you touch your subconscious or maybe supraconscious so whatever anubhuti you had or whatever experience you had of the depth of the sushupti gets confused and you don't know what you dreamt and you don't understand and you forget it but those who are realize so go to their sushupti and see exactly what they have to know like uh, many people in bombay when i came but they didn't know i was coming but they were at the airport because they got the dream so at the sushupti level at the deep level you get the communication with god if you know how to go in and come out fully aware but if you get confused with supra conscious or subconscious areas or if you start your chitta is not so clear cut then there can be a big confusion how is it supra conscious is on the is on the right and subconscious on the left how can we compartmentalize it what happens to a man when he is realize so when a person is realize so what how what happen what happens when a person is realize so he just want to know what is the state of a person when he hmm? realize so when he is realize so what happens to man yeah see the first thing is to say that how can we compart come part mentalize it because if the ego and super ego is on two sides actually have you not noticed in our body everything is a compartment you see even a cell is a compartment everything has a boundary it's not some sort of a uh, even the blood has to pass through the channels uh, it has to go through these arteries everything is a compartment there's nothing like something uh, uh, just uh, left there uh, like a pulp if it becomes the pulp you won't exist so everything is compartment is in compartment its ego and super ego are like balloons and they are two balloons which can press each other which can flow on one side now see the actually the uh, ego though it is placed on the left hand side more is placed like this on the left hand side more and this one on the right hand side is the super ego still the ego when it increases in size it starts moving on the right hand side and the super ego when it starts moving it starts moving this way. so everything is in a compartment in our body you are sadly mistaken if you think there's anything is in a pulp nothing or something like a air flowing in nothing like that everything has a channel everything is in a compartment you ask what happens to a man if he is a realized soul now that is i have been telling you what happens to a man he is a realized soul that his ego and super ego are sucked in and he gets a dent in the fontanel bone area and the kundalini shoots off and he can feel the cool breeze coming out of his head and he can feel it in his hand this is only on the central nervous system this happens but so many things happen much more how to use this power what it means and all that you have to learn in spite of tremendous stress on kundalini by your holiness 
it is hard for me to reconcile myself with the fact that there is no not the slightest reference of kundalini in the two eminently authoritative guides on yoga i mean patanjali's yoga sutra or gita why yes it's surprising that uh, people will say he says that in yoga sutra of patanjali uh, it is not written about kundalini and also about gita it's not written about kundalini in fact because you see it was a secret science it was kept a secret science in my first lecture only i said till the 6th century in the 6th century adi shankara acharya for the first time opened his mouth about it it was a secret science with very great gurus like uh, janaka gave realization to nachiket and in the same way shri krishna did not talk about it. because you see even when markandeya talked about it people did not know what he was talking they never thought him to be a sensible man then later on as the people became into two compartments one on the right one on the left side some started worshiping god in a devotion and in a bhakti way the another started doing yagya havana the things so whatever was required for these two types of things uh, evolved and that's what we developed the central side of evolution was kept a secret and even at the time of shri krishna it was not mentioned a word about this thing was mentioned because this is an internal happening this is antar yoga it was not described but shri krishna hinted at that you have to have your yoga but how he did not say because that was not the time he was the one who laid the seeds that's why he is called as krishna krishna means krishi the one who is done krishi so this one was laid the sprouting had to come today it was to be told so i'm telling you about everything is not to- told at the same time same in sahaj yoga we don't tell you everything at this time. about agya chakra i have told you something but not all gradually when you will be so aware i will tell you it has to be seen how far to be said at what time and that's what what was needed at that time was told by krishna so gita is the one which uh, which only tells you that this will happen but nyaneshwara who was born after the 6th century in nyaneshwari has written about kundalini clear because though gita it is not written but he said this is how it is done nyaneshwara has written though he has written it's not it's the gita translated into a common language he put also the knowledge of kundali because at that time it was to be told before that it was not to be told shankaracharya at the 6th century did it then dyaneshwara did it then nanaka did it then kabira did it all these people did it not only but even mohammad sahab in a way has talked about it about the sahaj yoga and resurrection time they all started talking about the resurrection time much later as they started seeing people getting there because to talk too much about the future is dangerous that time shri krishna was placed with arjuna when they were at the war and that time he had to talk about the problems of hinsa ahimsa and those ideas which we have about wrong ideas we have and that's how he talked on that subject whatever was the subject he talked on that and he told him how to become one with god and not not how that when you become one with god you become a sthita prabhu he gave the idea as to what will happen to you but how it will happen he did not say that was left to me to explain they can't do everything i have to do something isn't it because if he had said how then they would have said give me realization but they were not prepared for realization Mr. Jalal says I am trying to go into spiritualism in the real sense of the word but my health is deteriorating day by day some gentleman has done spiritualism in the real sense of the word and his health is deteriorating i have told you already what is the reason for that is you take to spiritualism out of ignorance there is no spiritualism there is no ism with god spirit cannot be ismized <laughs> so you take to sahaj yoga become your spirit you cannot ism it that's one thing you cannot ism you can have isms in everything but spirit is detached it cannot be put into isms 
So those who say spiritualism must know they have done wrong, all right? You come to Sahaja Yoga and forget it. I know, I am sorry for that. You are misled, but God is there and Spirit is there. In Sahaja Yoga we promise you that. And whatever mistakes you have done, it can be corrected. आपने तो तीन चार पन्ने लिख डाले साहब ये आपका है टेपन टू इट एट होमरेडी बट यू यूर अटेंशन should have been there now you take a tape from these people listen to it i have said the same thing which you are telling that these are the problems of a pe- person who goes to these things and how he gets into problems all right so then you come to sahaja yoga i know you are a seeker and if you are a seeker that will be given that's your right to have it may god bless you but which will be the end of all the world and of human what is which will be the end of all the world and of human kind <laughs> which will be the end of all the world all the world which will be the end of world huh yes and of the human mankind okay. again futuristic Apocalypse. very futuristic let's not talk about the end just now is the beginning <laughs> when the child is born we just don't think about his death do we so better be worried about the beginning of this world new world that we have started and don't think of the death and all those things forget it for the time ye kya hai ek pura